Hey guys, what's up? Welcome to the channel and today we are taking a look at Louis Oosthuizen's golf swing. It's been on an amazing run of form lately. We have some super up-to-date videos from the US Open for you guys to take a look at where he finished second. So let's dive straight in and start taking a look at Louis's swing. Now I actually did a recent video on Louis's swing but considering I got some more up-to-date videos and Louis's been playing so well, I thought I'd make a little another one for you guys. And we have some really good slow motion looks at Louis's swing here. We're gonna start out with the driver swing, guys. And if you haven't seen my other video, I'll we'll talk you through Louis's swing. He has quite an old-fashioned golf swing, it has to be said. Um, in the previous Louis Oosthuizen video, we took a look at an older, uh, I think it was 2004 swing of his, to compare and his swing has actually changed quite a bit but it is still a slightly more old-fashioned swing relying on uh, timing and tempo and release of the hands and arms to square up the club face so let's start uh, setup first of all setup great setup alignment very good um, does have quite a lot of knee bends hips you know sitting back a little bit but pretty good setup quite upright as he takes the club back guys slowly taking it back if we pause it parallel to the ground really nice takeaway here really good pretty standard takeaway pretty neutral not a huge amount of hip turn at this point just starting to turn the kind of chest and shoulders a little bit little bit of knee bend as well as and the face club face is also matching his spine angle here's where louis swing becomes a little bit interesting from this point He's going to, if we start taking the club back slowly to the top, it's going to get kind of work deeper in behind him first, and then he's going to lift the hands and arms a bit more to get it to the top of the swing. And if we pause it here at the top, great look at Louis' swing here. Uh, really good look. The right elbow quite far away from the body, but the right elbow is quite bent. With most of the professional golf swings we look at, the right elbow is somewhere around 90 degrees. But Louis is a lot less than that. You know, it's probably, uh, I don't know, but that angle looks to me to be, um, well, his right arm is basically, right elbow is a lot more bent. A uh, good pivot and turn through the lower body. Looks really stable, looks really loaded into that right heel, right glute and everything like that. Pivoted nicely. Big shoulder turn as well, guys. Obviously, Louis not like the tallest or biggest guy, um, but really good tempo. And I'll be talking you through some of the things that everyone could learn and copy from Louis' swing. As we start to play the club down, here's where it becomes kind of quite an old-fashioned swing. As we play the club down, club shallows a little bit, and that right elbow moves back in front of him. Not much rotation. If we pause it parallel to the ground, here he's using the hands and arms. He's trying to get the hands and arms back out in front of him in order to release the club. He has started to clear the left side of the body a little bit, but the uh, right heel is coming up off the ground quite early. Right knee and right hip moving slightly into the ball but he's actually done a very good job to get the club face square another thing to note in louis swing that his left hand grip is slightly strong this is quite similar to a lot of tour players we look at and talk about where louis uh, left hand grip is slightly strong you can actually see from this position that it is because the back of his left hand is kind of pointing straight right at a 90 degree angle and the club face is slightly pointing down so as we play it down into the ball, he's going to release with the hands and arms quite hard. If we pause it at impact, he actually gets into a really decent impact position where he has actually cleared the left side of his body a bit more. And yeah, let me know what you guys think of that impact position. By the way, guys, feel free to comment your thoughts below, or reply to all your comments, like this video, and subscribe to the channel as well. So let's play it from here, guys. He's going to release really big hard release with the hands and arms and brings that club up high above that left shoulder as he comes through to this balanced finish let's just play it back take a look it's a really effortless golf swing or it looks effortless to us at least let's play it a few times for you guys to take a look at one of the best things about louis eustazen's golf swing is the tempo is the rhythm of it and that is something we could all take a look, we could all learn from basically 
Um, another great player with great tempo, good young player, is actually Wilco Nienarber, who we did, took a look at Wilco's golf swing in a recent video on my channel, so make sure you guys check that out as well, as that was a really, really interesting look at Wilco's swing, and a really, well, really good look at Wilco's swing. is incredible. Probably the uh, longest hitter on, longest tour player at the moment. And now we're going to take a look at Louis Oosthuizen's golf swing with iron from down the line as well. Louis is one of the probably one of the best iron players on the PGA Tour. Uh, he's not the biggest hitter, but he actually, for a smaller guy, gets the ball out there pretty far. As we have Louis set up with iron, it's actually interesting. We just did a video on John Ram's golf swing, and John Ram actually set up wise with the iron looks quite similar to this. I'll talk you through a few of the key points. He's sitting back a little bit more. I'd, I'd probably recommend to you guys to try and get your knees a little bit straighter, hips more in line with your ankles, and chest a bit more over the ball. But Louis kind of sitting back a little bit more, a little bit more knee bend, hips a little bit far back. Also, look how close his hands and arms are to his, uh, to his legs, to his body. There's no real gap there between the grip of the club and his body, which again, wouldn't 100% recommend for you guys. As we take the club back, so that if we pause it parallel to the ground, really good look here. Really gets the club pretty good in the takeaway here. He starts to hinge the wrist fairly early. It looks like this is about an eight, nine iron maybe, probably an eight iron, um, but gets in a good position here. And as we start to take it to the top, again, we're gonna see the club kind of roll inside and deep before the hands and arms start to move up. And if we pause it at the top for you guys, we are going to see, well, slightly open club face. Actually, it looks like this may be like a wedge or a nine iron. Um, slightly open club face, a little bit of cup in that left wrist, a lot of bend in that right elbow and that right arm. And this will probably be a way that Louis, uh, even though he's a smaller guy, a way Louis generates more power because the more hinges you have in your golf swing and your arms and everything like that, typically the more speed, the more you can release them. So he's basically, by getting a lot of bend in this right arm, he's then able to add another hinge and add some speed and power to his golf swing. Uh, I would not recommend doing that for a few different reasons. I prefer uh, most players uh, like to keep a bit more width and keep the right arm a bit straighter at the top. I would recommend doing things that way for a few different reasons, might make a separate video about that. But as we start to play down, we're gonna notice, watch the hands. They really drop straight down to get that club working from the inside back out in front of him. And then he really has to release them hard. If we pause it at impact, we can see no real rotation in this swing with the shorter club. He's really, it's a very armsy swing, really just releases the hands and arms down the line, really interesting swing here. Let's play it back a few times and just take a look at this. It's very, very armsy, very handsy, but beautiful rhythm. And that's definitely something we could all learn from Louis Oosthuizen's golf swing. Absolutely incredible. Let's just take a look at another driver swing of Louis from this week. And then we're gonna take a look at a uh, five, I think it's a five wood swing and we will call it a day guys so here we have louis again set up at the us open this is in one of the practice rounds obviously he's wearing shorts here and set up again we've kind of been through that nothing really new to mention there i do really like his alignment beautiful alignment as we play this club back if we pause it parallel to the ground good look there we can kind of even though he's in a good position here we can kind of already see the club is starting to work a bit flat and a bit inside that's just where the, louis momentum kind of takes it and if we play it back from here he rolls that left arm to get the kind of club more laid off um and if we pause it at the top quite a very flat shoulder plane very well very flat hip plane as well quite because he's quite upright he hasn't got a huge amount of hip flexion also uh, a little bit of cup in that left wrist so even though the club face is square because he has that slight slightly strong left hand grip uh he actually has a slightly uh cupped left wrist 
and also a lot of bend in that right arm as well. But if we look at the lower body, nicely loaded into the right heel, right glute. As we play this down, guys, Louis going to kind of shallow the club a little bit, but he's, he works quite upright on a um, quite vertical plane as he comes down. If we pause it parallel to the ground here, it looks like Louis is probably going to hit a fade from here. Um, that club a little bit more open than the previous driver swing we had looked at. Maybe he's just trying to hit more of a fade here. You can. It's a good look here how you can see the club is definitely, that grip is definitely a few degrees strong because look at the back of his left wrist and look at the club face. Good indication there. As Louis swings down into the ball, it's releasing those arms really. Trying to get those arms back out in front of him, not get the club stuck behind him too much. And paused here. It's a good look at Louis swing. Really nice um, position. Love how, you know, he actually gets a fairly decent amount of rotation with this particular swing, uh, getting the clearing the left side, clearing the left hip, the uh, left shoulder. There's a few things, you know, it's, I'd say in some ways it's a slightly older player's swing as well because he has a slightly more upright um, upright spine angle. It's not quite so over the ball, which means it probably will be putting less pressure on your back. And because he's also using his arms uh, and hands a bit more to release the club, it will be putting a bit less pressure on his back. And he actually maintains his posture fairly well. As we play it through, real big release, flips that club over to square it up as he comes through to that beautiful finish. Let's just play it through once or twice for you guys. And it is a really beautifully rhythmic swing. That's really the main thing I want you guys to focus on. Um, maybe if you have any kind of back problems as well, uh, or maybe you're slightly older, um, it might not necessarily be a bad idea to generate more power with the hands and arms and everything like that. Uh, the only thing is it will affect your consistency a little bit. I mean, Louis's been playing on tour for decades, so... Um, yeah, he's obviously ingrained that move, made it his own. But for most of us, it would be difficult to keep the club face consistently square. Now let's have a look at a driver swing from uh, front on. And then we'll have a look at that three wood or five wood swing. And this is quite an interesting angle to understand Louis, Louis golf swing. Uh, we have it paused here at the setup. Look at the hands and I want you to notice how that they're well first of all they're quite a long way behind the club head uh he really has that shaft working backwards trying to exaggerate the feeling of hitting up on the ball also look at the the already huge amount of cup in that left wrist and also the left grip definitely looks strong from this position as we play the club back watch this he's actually before he even well as he takes the club back he shifts that weight really a lot of weight laterally onto that right side before he starts to rotate and turn into that right hip as he takes the club away. And if we pause it at the top, well, if we pause it, actually, let's pause it just before the top. And there's an interesting thing is going to happen next. First of all, at the top, Louis has laterally shifted his hips and spine over to the right hand side meaning his spine angle now isn't really is more what you'd want to see with an iron not so much with a driver but something interesting is about to happen but first of all a uh, good position here arms nicely in front of him a little bit of bend in that left arm interestingly enough but good pivot in turn with the hips as well into that right side into that right glute but watch this this is really interesting as louis completes the backswing He's actually going to laterally shift with the hips back onto the left side before he starts to rotate and swing down. The hands and arms drop and he squares up the cup face. If we pause it just after or just at impact, just after, um, look, at, he actually has a decent amount of bend in that left arm, interestingly enough. Um, quite an interesting position there and his spine angle now is much more where you'd want it with driver um, than before it was a little bit too up. Right now it's tilted nicely away from the ball, hitting up on the ball and as we play it through, he releases those hands and arms hard, flips that club over, comes through to that beautiful balanced finish which I love to see. Let's have a quick look at this three with swing, or actually well, let's just play that back a few times first so you guys can take a look and 
just once or twice. Interesting move, that shift of weight laterally onto the right side, then back across, rotating, dropping those arms, flipping that club over. It's quite a unique swing in a lot of ways, and comment what you think of it below. What do you like about it? What do you not like about it? Maybe I'd love to, love to hear what you, you guys have to say. Now let's have a look at this three-width swing. So this is another really good look at Louis' golf swing. And setup, really good setup here. Um, I'd actually say setup maybe slightly better, actually, slightly more over the ball. It could be just a slightly shorter club, that's why. As he takes the club back, guys, let's pause it parallel to the ground. And again, from this position, you know, quite classic, good position here. But as we take it further to the top, he rolls that left arm, and that's what gets the club flatter and... Um, yeah, a little bit flat and deep behind him as he as we pause at the top. This is a good position. You can see that cup in that left wrist. Uh, good look at that here. And nothing super new. We haven't already mentioned that right arm with a lot of bend in it. Very deep behind him as well. And as we play it down, he's going to really have to work hard with the hands and arms, getting those back out in front of him and releasing down. If we actually, let's just pause it in, at uh, parallel to the ground. And he gets in a really good position here. He just has to manipulate the club a little bit with the hands and arms. And if we play it through to impact, again, gets in a really good position. It's just kind of how he's getting into these positions, which is quite interesting, and I wouldn't 100% recommend it to you guys. But he actually gets himself into some really nice positions. I'm not surprising considering he's such a good golfer and has been for such a long time. And as we play this through, big release, flipping that club over to square it up. And that ball comes out really beautifully, nice, high and straight. Let's just play it through once or twice for you guys. Let me know what you guys think of Louis Swing. Comment your thoughts down below. I reply to all your comments. I'd love to know. Personally, for me, some things I'm not, I wouldn't recommend to you guys. I wouldn't really recommend a lot about Louis's setup. Uh, because he sat a little bit far back, he's quite upright, and I wouldn't recommend how flat his uh, shoulder plane, hip plane is, and how flat he gets the club working uh, at, in the back swing. Uh, a few things I would recommend, well, the rhythm is beautiful, the timing of it, he doesn't swing too hard at it, it's really, you know, that's something a lot of us could work on. Actually, he just lets the club fall, lets those hands and arms drop, so that he can release them properly. And it is a really good look at his swing here. I mean, he really does hit the ball very, very well. And he's found something that works for him. He really has owned his own golf swing. And I absolutely love to see that. He's made that movement his own. Guys, comment what, what you think about Louis Ustazen's golf swing. Should he have gone for that last shot at the US Open? It would have been a bit more entertaining if he had. I personally wish he had. And yeah, let me know what you think and obviously subscribe to the channel, like this video and I'll see you guys very, very soon. Uh, as always guys, grip it and rip it.